Well, recent legislation in Quebec was meant to force Airbnb and other short-term rental platforms to stop illegal listings. But hosts were still finding ways around the rules. Well, under new rules enforced today, coming into effect today, the companies must ensure that all listings of, on their sites are legal or risk facing fines of up to $100,000 each. The individuals who offer units will, with a bogus permit, they will be slapped with a hefty fine as well. Justin Hayward tells us more. I'm standing in the heart of downtown Montreal, right next to old Montreal, two areas of the city that are extremely popular with tourists. And because of that, the neighborhood is dotted with hundreds, if not thousands, of short-term rentals, uh, Airbnbs. The problem is, for years, many of those Airbnbs have been illegal and there's two reasons for that one there's whole sections of downtown that aren't supposed to have airbnbs in them at all under city regulations including a big section of old montreal and two they're supposed to have a registration number when you put an airbnb up it's supposed to have a registration number and an investigation uh, recently done by us and others found that a lot of those registration numbers were either made up or the same number used over and over again for different rentals so uh, the government of Quebec, clearly irritated that Airbnb wasn't playing as much by the rules as they had hoped that they would be, uh, has instituted new rules to sort of crack down on illegal Airbnbs. And this happened in particular. This new law was introduced in the wake of that terrible fire in March in old Montreal that killed seven people. Under this new law, people who want to rent out an Airbnb have to go through a series of steps to make sure they have a, a registration, to make sure that they're totally legal and above board. And that includes a series of uh, forms that they have to fill out, including one that's on PDF, a, a digital document format, that's fairly complicated to go over and verify the numbers. So Airbnb itself, the company that runs Airbnb, says there has to be a better way to do this. There should be a digital component to this. It shouldn't be a host has to get a PDF from the government, and we have to have a, a, a real live human being open up that PDF and take a look at it. That is a very rarely used type of approach. Be that as it may, under the new law, the onus is on Airbnb itself to make sure that the people who are offering their homes and apartments on Airbnb are meeting all the regulations. And if they don't, as of today, there are severe fines in place for people who aren't doing it properly. Those fines apply both to the people offering the rental and to Airbnb itself. If people are offering a rental and they're not properly uh, registered, the fines can reach into the tens of thousands of dollars. And for Airbnb, if Airbnb is not catching them in time, Revenue Quebec is going to be keeping a close eye on them, and those fines could be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Justin Hayward, CBC News, Montreal.